Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we're going to do a little education series and we're going to update our firmware for our Nano Ledger. I know this seems very tedious and kind of a pain and sometimes it's actually kind of scary for some people, but we're going to walk you through it just to make sure that nothing goes wrong and it's actually perfect. So let's jump right in. Let's update the firmware and you'll know you'll need to update the firmware if you go to the menu for Ledger Live. And if you're looking at Portfolio Accounts and Receive Manager, you click on Manager, and it'll say Firmware version 1.6.1 is available. My firmware is outdated to 1.6.0. So yeah, sure, whatever. So we're gonna update the firmware. It's gonna click on this, and it's gonna tell us, look, to do this, in case something screws up, make sure you have your 24-word recovery phrase is written down in the recovery sheet, which you should have at all times. That thing is like gold, so don't lose that. That's super important, right? So I have that. I'm gonna click on, I have my recovery phrase, and I'm gonna click on continue. And it's gonna download, and I'll just speed this up. Then you'll notice on your Nano Ledger, it'll just say processing. It'll just be going down. And now it's gonna say, okay, you need to verify this. So you have to look at your actual Nano Ledger, there's two buttons. I'm using my old one. It's not. It's the um, S, not the X. So it's got the buttons, and uh, well, they both got buttons, but uh, these ones are a little bit uh, old-fashioned, I guess. So we're gonna click on right button there. Version 1.61. Yes. Identifier 104. Yes. 204. Yes. 304. 404. And then perform the update. There's a little check mark there on the left-hand side. And when it gets to the check mark, perform update. You're gonna click both the buttons. You're gonna put in your pin and you're gonna wait. And now it's gonna go as what's called a bootloader screen. It's gonna say MCU updating, please wait for the update to finish, 100%. This is where your heart starts to go up, pounding out of your chest, because you're like, I know this should work, but you never know. That's the whole reason for that, uh, your passphrase. Because if anything screws up, I mean, remember your cryptocurrency isn't on Nano Ledger. It, the only thing it holds is private keys. So there's nothing physical there. It's just a way to unlock things and to spend things or spend cryptocurrency digital assets. So again, you're gonna see processing, firmware updating, and of course you gotta reinstall the apps, which sucks, what are you gonna do? And you might see the pin code, so you're gonna unlock that. And you're gonna notice that on your ledger, that all the apps, for me, I just have Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP right now, uh, because on my other one, um, the X, I have all the other ones. It's gonna have you reinstall the apps, which is no big deal. It's not like you lost your cryptocurrency. Uh, it's all there, don't worry. Just reinstall the app so you can see it. And it's gonna ask you to click both buttons, sure. And it just does it automatically. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, fantastic. I gotta tell you, I can see why the uninitiated would be like, would be pretty weird. Cause I, when I first did this, when I was uninitiated, I was like, what the hell's going on? Uh, you kind of get a little, you know, a little lump in your throat. You're like, shoot, there's a lot of money. I mean, some people have, I mean, let's just be honest. Some people have hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars on their ledger. Now, I don't think you should have them all in one ledger. I think maybe if you have a million dollars, maybe you could afford to buy two, three, or five. Just saying. But uh, yeah, I mean, when, you, when you're going through all this, because in the old days, everything was stored on a, in the bank, you got something like this, you're like, shoot, I gotta make sure this is all good. But just remember, if you have your passphrase, you're gonna be okay. All right, now apps installed successfully now into your accounts. Great. Fantastic. So we're gonna click on manage my accounts. So we got all of them, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, ooh, Chainlink, Bitcoin Cash, all that stuff, right? All right, let's start with Ethereum. We'll click on continue. It's gonna say open the Ethereum app on your device. So on my device right now, I have three things loaded. I have Ethereum, XRP, and Bitcoin. So I'm going to find Ethereum, double click. It says application is ready. Sometimes you just gotta wait. And remember, all this is doing is allowing Ledger Live to actually view it. That's all it's doing. It's not downloading the money again or downloading the cryptocurrency digital assets. It's already there. It's just so you can actually see it and interface with it and all that good stuff. And look, we've got them all installed. Everything's good to go. So we check our portfolio. Here we are and everything's good. Now, uh, I have the little eyeball, uh, the discrete mode, so you can't see them all. But just so, just so you know, I have multiple nano ledgers because... I just have this fear at some point I'm going to lose something. So just to back myself up, I got like four of these things. And I just want to make sure that when the bull run comes, I am totally prepared. I'm okay with spending, you know, 59 bucks on an X or 100 bucks on an S or, or I probably swap those two prices, but it's okay. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm taken care of later on. It's going to be all right. 
as long as I have everything uh, safe. So right now we're good to go. We've updated everything. If we go back to manager, it does say firmware is up, up to date 1.6.1. Now we can go on with everything we need to do.